Hey folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to stop and check out the video today. Today's video is on X lights, and as always, whenever you're opening up your X light sequencer, I want you to remember to go into the help, click on the donate button, and make sure that. Uh, and, and here's a bug. I'm gonna. I'm, this, is, this is exactly what we're talking about today. Uh, we're talking about bugs, and this is a reproducible bug that I've had over and over again in Firefox. Um, but, yeah, let me finish my spiel. So click on the Help button, click on Donate, and then make sure that you're taking the time to donate to the developers, to the uh, to housing the, the, the program up on uh, the XLights website. Uh, make sure you're supporting the folks who support us throughout the hobby. So, with that being said, today's video is on bugs. And what in the hell do you do when you have a crash or a bug report? Well, quite simply, let's take you through my current situation now. First of all, I want to point out that every time you go into uh, x uh and download, that you're downloading... A, there's two there's two releases right now there's the production release and uh, there is also there's a most recent production release there's 64 and 32 bit and then the most recent beta uh, release make sure you're understanding that just because you downloaded the most recent version doesn't mean that it is bug free or it is problem free you have to understand that this is free open source software. This is software that anybody can get into and make changes and add to that, that are developers, of course, I'm talking about. And you have to keep in mind, too, that as new things are brought into the program, that everything becomes more enhanced, that the chances of something else inside the program, a link could be broken or uh, something may not work exactly the way as it should. And Part of uh, part of the job of people who use a beta version, which, uh, as we all know, as we might all know, B stands for broken. Uh, it doesn't mean that it doesn't work, but it might mean that parts of the program aren't going to work as they should. And so it is in your best interest to any time that you have an issue that is replicable over and over again, doing the same thing and getting the same result where you're getting the same crash or the same breakdown that you help the developers by packaging up info and sending it off to them in a way that is going to be helpful to them. So while we're on while we're on uh, Internet Explorer, let's go in and we'll just go ahead and type uh, GitHub. If you go to github.com uh, and you create an account, I've already previously logged in here. Um, uh, I have two groups that I'm part of. Uh, right now there's the F16v3 group uh, because we were working on firmware issues and so forth and then we also have the X lights group uh, if you go in and you just do a search for X lights or s mean then you're going to come up with this page now let's say for example you have an issue well all you have to do is if you have a crash or an issue or if you have a question about something that's really I mean something that's more complicated than just asking uh, in a uh, in a Facebook post or in a forum session, you can click on this issues button, and then there are uh, a number of things that uh, a number of options here that you can see. We have 95 open uh, in, uh, either enhancements or crashes or uh, s something to the effect of here's some issues or here's some here's a wish list. Is there any way we can enhance something? Or uh, is there any way that we can uh, uh, make this change? Or, it, uh, for example, here I asked for an enhancement, uh, adding a value curve to the Twinkle effect. I found out that that's not possible because uh, of the way the code is written for Twinkle. Uh, there's a lot of parameters. So, sadly, that's not going to get implemented. But if you have an issue that you can't figure out, this is the place where you can go and you can make a new issue. It doesn't matter who you are, and uh, once you have an account, obviously, see it will post your name here. 
uh, or your account name or whoever whoever is the one who's asking for it you can just click new issue and you type the title let's say crash report okay here I, I really don't know anything about adding uh, I'm sure you can add images but uh, you can't upload files here I, I don't believe so what I usually will do is I'll usually post the files either online in the Facebook group or a link to them uh, somehow in my Dropbox and that way a developer can get in download it and so forth but I'll, I'll write about the issue like uh, X lights uh, crashes when rendering uh, effect uh, single strand effect okay so I mean you're, you're you get to the basics and then you you add in any specification such as uh, you know I'm using timings uh, the timing I'm using is uh, 25 uh, using 25 millisecond and it crashes every time I touch this effect well today what I'll show you in in just a second and obviously you click submit new issue I would in my case I would I would add a link to a video or a link to something where there's a file or a log report or something where um, they could the developers can grab a hold of it look at it and see if they can get the same thing to happen on their machines and this is really important um, so let's uh, let's go into X lights so this is the issue I had I'm gonna open up a sequence and what I learned was is that whenever I created an effect uh, a pretty uh, pretty radical pretty cool effect I thought uh, right here nothing uh, nothing fancy uh, this is um, my house elements uh, I just put these uh, these are a single strand skip effect and all I did was I just uh, created a band size a skip size you can check out how to use the effect in the other video well whenever I clicked on I copied it I right clicked I copied and I pasted it right here into my snowflake group because I wanted the similar effect with them and what I found out was now it's rendering and it's getting really slow and something's going on and oh my gosh X lights is not responding so this is very important that whenever you have an issue that you can replicate that you can say over and over I've done this two or three times I'm having a crash or something's going on or it X lights just kind of locks up um, and I we've seen some of these in the in the in the X lights uh, official X lights Facebook page group um, but you have to understand whenever this happens and you can reproduce it this is the important information that's necessary so here is what I did without babbling on more and more uh, I'll just go into the folder um, I went and I reopened the sequence and I went to tools which you can't go to and I went to package sequence and I pack I opened the sequence I packaged it up and I sent it off to the developers uh, actually I sent them the link to my Dropbox because I created this uh, compressed zip folder with the information that was necessary for them to open up the sequence in their computer so they pretty much uh, they grabbed the uh, preview screen they grabbed my networks my RGBFX file my uh, my mp3 and it grabs the uh, XML file so everything that you need for the developers to check out to see if they can create the exact same issue and now usually it just crashes but here it's just locked up uh, let me go ahead and get the task manager open and we will we will go ahead and close we will close X lights and task and there we go I got my resources back so once again we'll go ahead in and open it up and uh, what we found out was, and I can tell you a little bit about this crash report because we spent uh, about a, an hour on Zoom while Keith talked through the whole issue. Uh, and I think Gil was on. Gil was on there, and you know the, the two collaborated a little bit. 
Uh, and it was very interesting to, to listen to them work. Now, do you think I understood a word that they were saying? No. But uh, one of the important things that, that we learned was uh, if for this specific sequence, I set it up as a 25 millisecond timing, uh, which usually some of the developers don't use. Most of the time I use uh, 50 millisecond myself, but for this particular song, I wanted a little better uh, rendering. And uh, it, it turns out that um, with 25 millisecond timing for this specific effect right here was causing an issue and we found the bug and the bug has something to do with um, this right here, the per model, uh, per model, per preview um, uh, buffer render style. So that's something that they're gonna be addressing but they, they fixed the major issue that caused it to crash. And uh, I have a feeling that some of you folks are having issues. And once again, uh, I should preface this with a uh, about, go into the about screen. I'm using version 2017.23. And there have been a number of uh, 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 continuous crashes that have occurred. This is the kind of thing that you need to do is you need to open up this sequence, go to tools, and you need to package sequence. It'll create this file that I just showed you on the other screen here where you have this uh, right here this compressed zip folder if you open it up it opens your directory and then it opens your sequence along with all that information so I wanted to share this with you guys I, it's I, I understand the frustration of using software especially when you really don't know how it all works if you're brand new to X lights this isn't going to make a lot of sense to you but if you've been using X lights for a year two years three years now and you're getting uh, crashes or you're getting a bug report in this case I don't have a bug report to share with you but when that stuff is happening and you're able to reproduce it it's important that you step up you share the information with the development team they do take this very seriously and the bottom line is, is this is freeware. You know, the developers want this uh, software to work and want it to work as efficiently as great as possible. But if we as a community don't jump in and share uh, not just our wants and desires, like I want this effect to do this and that, but if we share our wants and desires, uh, uh, if, we, if we share our, our, our issues that we have in this manner, I think that will help. Uh, open it up so that we can get more accomplished or that more information can be turned over and this is the way that, the, the avenue that we want to go down so uh, folks I hate to I hate to make uh, use a little bit of clickbait to get you in here with the uh, with the actual name of the the video here but uh, uh, I wanted to get the point across um, that when when you're using this software that uh, you are using a beta version even, even the most recent production version is still a beta version because the program is not perfect. And it takes folks like yourself, like me, to share the experiences that we have and be able to continue to help doing our due diligence to continue to improve the product. So, guys, thanks for taking the time to check out the video. If you liked the video, give me a like. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. But uh, in any event, take some action. If things are happening, share it with us and uh, and and let it let the developers know so uh, thanks a lot take care and we'll talk to you again soon